Hello everybody and welcome back to Mighty Baby Plays Europe Universal 4, where the Netherlands seem like Burgundy for one. It looks like they're gonna pretty much full annex, or at least take something from, like what was the war for? Defender against the Palestine. Oh, okay, never mind then. Where is this place? C O. Okay, I mean... Yeah, this one. No thanks. I guess I'll take it and cancel it, though. Still need to spend more points, too, amazingly. Hmm. Concerning how many points. We don't even have a focus, that's ridiculous. Anyhow though, technology, or not that window, we gotta go development. Then we go across the board. Ottoman's opinion of Poland, I don't care. Because I want to really just fabricate on them right now. Except they're allied to France. Who is Norway's allies? Norway has no allies. Okay. I need to hire a level 3, but I really wish that that um, other guy was level 3 who could give us diplomatic rep. So I guess we'll do random Nimberg. Because they're the only ones around me, kind of with no allies. Except maybe I could do. I could do Augsburg. Fabricate a claim. Gain 40 military power, but lose money. But that would make us take a loan. Nah. I'll take the minus prestige. Our agent was discovered in Brandenburg. That slows them down a lot, so let's say, forget it. Yeah, Munster's having some problems too. But if we can attack Augsburg, the Papal State would join in Norway. So nobody we care about. Nice. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Ooh. I have two merchants who are just free too. Okay, let's open the forbidden map mode. The trade map mode. And then the game always chugs because it's like, oh no. So let's check in Lubeck. We should collect in Lubeck, I believe. And let's see. And we in, I believe. We should probably collect too. It's better for them to collect than to do nothing. So, I say we do that. Accept to peace. Oh, snap! <laughs> they took all that land. I just Sweden want military access. Who'd you declare war on? Nobody, but I shall give you military access. New monarch, and what decision they take. Past uniformity. Past blasphemy. 
Oh, they both had new monarchs around the same time. Let's see, what was this piece deal? On the following, Brandenburg will seed that province, blah blah blah. Yeah, okay then. So the Palestine is really weak right now, I hear. Netherlands have formed a coalition against us. Lubeck is no longer a valid rival. Morocco no longer considers Spain a rival, of course, because they're too small now. So what am I looking at? Who's against me in a coalition? Nobody? Only a few countries can, actually. Whereas if I attack you... Imperialism, CB. Gives us really no benefits or downsides. And I could declare war just on Brandenburg because they only have one province, so I could just declare... No thank you. Our technology is getting quite high. And all this development is kind of crazy for our country to accept too. Because it means that our total development up in this map mode is 1,516, so it's insane. Let's see if we attack you once we finally get this claim eventually. And that would be pretty good. I don't know why the game keeps kind of freezing up on me, but I'm guessing because the later in the game you get, the more it's got to calculate, kind of. Yeah, but every time decision pops up, it seems like the game lags a little bit. Weird. So, a conquest casts his belly. 75% aggressive expansion, whereas if we do it this way, So we want to declare imperialism, I believe, still. But it's nice to have a claim, still. Don't let that trick you. So yeah, we want imperialism. Just make sure, Norway, you have no allies. Okay, then. And you're not in a coalition against me. Then I shall do... This. Put my leader in charge. Um, apparently we won a battle instantly. I'm fine with that. Huh, they had a fort there. I didn't even notice. Wait, what military tech are you? 23? And we're 24. I did not expect to win that fight so easily. I, in fact, didn't realize that there was going to be a fight until it's too late, but... Nope, let's try to intercept them. I think I know where they're going. They're going up to the... They're going up to the Papal State. Which is honestly fine. Because I plan on meeting them there. With open arms.
Hmm. I don't know why the game keeps like lagging like that. Like I say, I'll have to try to look into. It. Too few men to siege province. How many men do you need? <laughs> level four fort, level five fort. Huh. It's kind of crazy. I don't think I've ever had that issue before. Wait a minute. That lag in the game, I don't know why it's happening, but it's kind of putting me off my game, I'd have to say. I'll have to check some options and see if something's changed. I guess I'll just straight up attack them, too. Because if I can delete their army, this is going to be quite a fast war. I do have quite a few more troops than them. I have no clue, however, where they are going. Somehow I can't see Ulm, I guess. And I'm apparently fight some re helping fight rebels right away. <laughs> that was kind of annoying. <laughs> I got the end of the month tick, but that might be all they get. Still didn't stack wipe them. Unfortunate. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to look into why that lags. That's not going to work for me. Like, I'm not doing this. It's, it was fine last episode, so I wonder what changed. I'm going to have to check, I guess, the whole... Because you never know when you're recording if it's something you're doing while you're recording or what. Because it could always be that, unfortunately. They're still retreating. Now I'll gain a legitimacy. Hmm. I guess I'll have to just group up two armies and smash them. There we go. Now that that's settled, this can get on quite a bit more. Oh, we're capped for points, so in all categories, actually. Which is extreme. I don't know if I've ever been capped in every category. Um, let's see. Development. Generally want to be below 900, at least in all of them, so it gives me time. Where's Kessel? Part of Nasu? I'll just get rid of the prestige, I guess. We shall be taking tech soon, though. No worries. And the game is kind of like frozen again. I have no clue why, though. Shouldn't be. The game was running perfectly earlier, so I'll have to definitely check into that. Hmm. That is really bizarre. Sorry if that's ruining your video experience, too. It's ruining my play experience, honestly, so... Let's do that so we hold siege progress. And we got out of there at the end of the month, luckily. So we full occupied, almost.
I guess we'll have our troops sit in their land. Close. Okay. Augsburg. So what do I want against the Papal State? Sue for peace. War reps. Annul all your treaties, I guess. Cannot make the Papal State and demand war reparations at the same time. I could actually make you my vassal though. Might be pretty sweet. <laughs> nah. And war reps. How many diplo points would this cost me? This peace will cost zero diplomatic power. What if I do that? No diplomatic power still? Know all your treaties in that? Okay. Let's see. Clergy loses that much loyalty or... I say to do that. Uh, and the game lags again. Uh, I say we just finish this war and then I'll end the episode. I'm probably just going to restart the game, which is why I'm not going to end it now, even though we're over time. And since the game's lagging like this, I actually can't move my troops very efficiently. Maybe? Or for some reason I just don't have area of control, apparently, to get out of here. What does Austria want military access for? I mean, I'm not going to give it to them. Am I? I am not. I get our troops are suffering casualties. We're almost capped for points again. I want to keep my points obviously as high as possible for admin though. So then I can core all this land immediately. So I just gotta keep it on the verge. And obviously in military tech you don't want to fall behind either. Even though I can obviously pay for every one of the techs easily with 900 points still. And unfortunately it's taken forever to siege because the game keeps lagging. It definitely wasn't lagging earlier so it's definitely something I've changed somehow. How come we only have 97%? Just because the war hasn't been long enough? So if I took this, 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 that, 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 and that. You would actually give me your whole country. Let's see, that would make everybody super angry with me. Like insanely angry at me. But it actually wouldn't be as much overextension as you'd think. That's not even that much in reality of the war score, anyways. Hm. That's insane. Yeah, take that. Like, everybody's gonna be mad at me. There's no doubt of that. There's zero doubt that they're mad at me. However, why can't I do this? A missionary is working in. Oh. Uh, which one of these is Augsburg? This one? Missionary, I'm gonna need you to stop that actually, but. Make core. So that brought down that a whole lot. But we cord like all this land. 
We've taken over a whole country and ins of inserted ourselves all the way up to France almost. We now border places like Burgundy. Nice. Obviously, everybody's going to be real mad, but that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching.